Good afternoon guys and welcome to a brand new Spark video. My name is Lana for those that are new and if you are returning, hey what's up you guys, welcome back. Today we are starting off at about 1.30. Um, while I was at home, I got my first order. It was an express order, $13.31, going 2.8 miles, 30 items. Still says it's getting ready, but we're going to head up to the Walmart. Hopefully it'll be ready by the time we get there and we can go ahead and get it dropped off. I do have a couple errands I want to run in, in, um, in between, in between orders. So we're going to see what today brings, but I'm feeling good today. It is 71 degrees in Michigan and it's November 1st. Like it's going to be a good day. I'm excited about it. So, you know, our shirt of the day, repping Aaliyah, you know, she's from Detroit too. So yeah, y'all. So we, yeah, let's go ahead and head up to Walmart and we're going to see what the day brings. All right, all right, all right, you guys. We got that order. It did take a little while, maybe uh, actually about 20 minutes because I got there at 1 40. It's two o'clock now. So um a little bit longer than I like to wait, especially for a low paying order like this. But um it's kind of like on my way to my errand. So I just said I'll wait. Um I should have enough time to drop this off, do my errand, and still um get an order for next hour so it'll be it'll be good but you guys i saw an email from walmart this morning and i wanted to talk about it because this is going to be my first year um driving for walmart smart during the holiday season and i'm super excited to see how much money and how many orders how busy it is all of that stuff i feel like it's going to be super busy so like the orders should be popping hopefully we got some high and paying orders low miles busy for everybody in every market i'm really excited um they're going to be having some walmart like deal days every week um in november so like i think it's three days each um each week in november and then of course on black friday so i don't know if that means we're going to have a lot more like um dot com orders like the in-store pickups or what that exactly means but i'm excited to see the potential of our earnings for this next two months um i'm gonna try to like free up my schedule so i can work a little bit more make some money for the holidays things like that but yeah i'm excited um so are you guys going to be working a lot during these winter months uh november and december Black Friday, right before Christmas, all of that. I'm gonna, like I said, try to maximize and work as much as I can um, and get to this money, you guys. So yeah, I know days like this where it's bright, it's sunny, it's warm, I thrive. I'm ready to make some money, get out, be productive, all of that stuff, you guys. But come a rainy day, come a day where it's super, super cold, I'll be like, you know what? I ain't gonna do it. So. I try to push myself to get out and, and do something each and every day, but sometimes it's hard. Sometimes you just don't feel like it. So I, I want to know, am I alone in that? Do you guys, are your moods a reflection of the weather where you live? I don't know. Maybe you guys live in warmer climates where it's nice and you don't have that problem. But here in Michigan, we definitely have that problem. I don't know. And I'm going to be interested to see how busy it is in the winter months. Um, get me some good tires so that I can drive in the snow and I'll be good and safe and try to... Because I know a lot of people aren't going to want to work when it's snow on the ground. When, it, when it's one, snowing, and when it's two, snow on the ground. So hopefully they'll have a lot of good incentives for us that I can, you know, kind of capitalize and maximize my profit. <laughs> Aaron and right after I was done I was getting all of these orders um, I decided to take this express order it was $14 and some change going five miles 
So we just picked it up, got it loaded in the trunk, and we're headed to our destination. Um, this is going to be my second express order. I'm not mad at it because the express orders are only one delivery. So I'm actually able to drop it off and get back to the store quick and have a second order. So technically, I guess I did two of the same orders in the hour. Um, so yeah, I think it's busy today because literally as I dropped off my last delivery, I was getting all of these notifications for different um, orders that I could potentially take. So we love a busy day because that means that we have more opportunity to take orders. So hopefully the wait times isn't crazy. It hasn't been too bad um, today. The first wait time was a little bit longer than the second one but like i said it's, it's to be expected that you have to wait a little bit especially if there are other cars or whatever um so yeah we are headed to this drop off i should be there in eight minutes and we'll get it dropped off head back to the store hopefully we can get another one and maximize this hour Got another one. Yeah, we are knocking these out today. Third one of the day, $19 and some change going about six miles. Um, it wasn't an express, it was an ASAP order. So basically the ASAP orders are the orders that nobody has picked up yet. Um, so typically they add, every time someone doesn't pick them up and the time runs out, they add some more money to it. So um, did this ASAP order um i it says it is okay well it says delivered by 227 you guys it is 308 so we already know that's not happening we're gonna be late so i know somebody asked is your top is your um is your on-time delivery affected by these type of orders and i have not seen um especially now the regular orders like the um brown robin orders definitely are affected if you don't drop those off by the delivery time but for the asap orders um those orders don't affect your time um i have been kind of taking those orders all day and i'm still at 100 percent. so because it's like realistically if you're picking up an order that's already due, I mean, how are you going to deliver it on time? You can't. So I don't know why they don't update the time in the app. It seems like every time it doesn't get picked up, they would update it, but they don't. So there's that. Um, but no, you're not affected if you uh, pick a, up an ASAP order and you don't deliver it by the time that it says. Most of the time, this time has already passed. Um, I have had a couple orders where it'll say, um, you know, if I'm like driving to the store, it'll say your trip is in jeopardy of arriving late or something like that. Um, so what you could do, because sometimes the orders will disappear, like say if you're driving to the store um, and you're taking like past the time that they say you're supposed to check in, they will go ahead and remove that order from your uh, screen. So what I do is I go ahead and just swipe to start the trip um, and then that way it kind of like lets them know that you're doing the order and then when I get to the store I go ahead and confirm arrival and then go ahead and check it to my parking spot. So that's just a tip if you guys want to take an ASAP order um, and you're driving to the store go ahead and accept it and start trip and it'll work for you so yeah the sun is really like messing me up right now so i will let you guys know once we get to our delivery spot <laughs> We are on 
on a roll today you guys we have another order just picked it up and they're really quick today which i am very appreciative of um thirty dollars and eight cents a go wing 8.3 miles two drop-offs um so yeah 17 dollars tip you guys um the orders aren't that big so you already know what i'm gonna say i'm a little merry but i'm gonna have faith in the human race that's not a tip day we gonna see i what i said i was gonna start doing is i'm gonna take a screenshot of the orders that i feel like could potentially be tip bait so that way tomorrow when the um tips are final i can go on there and kind of like just make sure so if i see like okay i got zero dollars from the 17 dollar tip then pamela and eric i ain't delivering to them no more <laughs> If I can remember that in my head. But yeah, I'm not. Yeah, we're not doing that. So that's what we are about to do. Y'all, I love knowing my area because I know all of the shortcuts. Like literally, they were telling me this certain way to go. And I just saved two minutes on my trip. <laughs> just by going through the parking lot. Yeah, so... I will be, after this order, I'll be sitting at $77 and like 68 cents or something like that for, is this my fourth order? Yeah, this is my fourth order. Um, so one more, one more like $22 order will be at a hundred bucks. Um, y'all, I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. I know y'all be wanting to see how much I make if I work like a six hour, eight hour day. But I don't like doing that, y'all. I like to get in and get out. Like I said, my uh, always my soft goal is $100 a day. If I meet $100, then I'm good. Uh, sometimes if I don't have anything to do throughout the day, I might go a little bit longer. But today, the sun is shining. It's nice and warm. And I want to get outside, okay? I don't know how many more of these outside days I'm going to have before it gets super, super cold. So I'm going to take advantage and I'm going to be outside. So I'll probably do one to two more orders and that's it that's all no more so um yeah i'll see you guys at drop off easy peasy got that order off I have delivered to both of those houses before. Well, the first one, I don't know. But I know I delivered to this um, this house before, but I can't remember if I paid attention to the tip or not. Um, okay, so it is 412. By the time we get back up to the Walmart, we should be prime time to get another order. And hopefully that'll put me at the $100 mark, y'all. Oh, y'all, it is 5.37. I'm a little bit tired, but this is my last order of the day. Um, Yeah, it's been a fast-paced day. Like, I feel like I've been going, going. haven't really had any chance to really, like, rest or whatever. So, uh, I don't think I told y'all about the last order I did. And let me pull it up, because I don't even remember the last order I did. The last order I did was okay so I told y'all about the $30 order then after that we got a single order $19.73 going 7.7 .7 miles went ahead and dropped that off um and then came back up to the Walmart for one last order $15.55 going 5.5 .5 miles it is two orders um one is just the water one the other order is just a small grocery order but it shouldn't take long because it's only 5.5 miles, you guys. So, with that being said, I am donezo for the day, y'all. I, I was tired. I want to go and enjoy my evening. So, I should be done by like probably 6. 6 or so. And... I will run it down, run my numbers down. I got a hundred dollars. I'm a little bit over a hundred. Like I said, I wasn't trying to do too much today. I was just kind of getting out to add to my total for the week. 
So I will probably work all day tomorrow and half the day Thursday because I got a, a dentist appointment. So we're going to see. But yeah, also, I don't really care to work during like rush hour hours. So from like four to six because traffic is just like super super heavy and it just doesn't make any sense why it'd be so heavy so i try to stay away if i can most of the time i cannot but you know all right you guys we are officially done for the day our total for the day was a hundred and sixteen dollars and ninety seven cents or something like that i'll put the exact amount on the screen we worked for about five hours um, and let's see how many miles we went. We went 81.39 miles, which is a tax deduction of $50.87. But today was a pretty good day. Like I said, I wanted to get in and get out and that's exactly what I did. Got our $100 and we are done for the day. I get to enjoy the rest of my evening. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and comment below. You guys, I wanna know if there's some certain challenges you wanna do, if there's any video topics that you wanna see me talk about or whatever, let me know in the comments below and I will be sure to do that and I'll see you guys next Friday for another video. Bye!